we need to get the thumbnail working with the details page. What we'd like to do is when you click on the thumbnail, it goes to the details page. How is this done? The key is in there's a separate URL for every image. We need to understand how the URL pulls the image up and also how the the thumbnail gets the URL. There are two concepts. The first concept, how does a specific URL call up the image data? It has to pull it from the database. We need to understand how this concept works. The second concept is how does the thumbnail know which link to attach to it? If the thumbnail knows the URL, it can push it to the image. But how does this occur? Let's tackle the first problem first. How does this URL call up the image? In order to understand how the URL works and how it's able to call up the image from the database, let's review the basic structure of how a web browser accesses a URL and goes to the Python code. At first, you type in a URL into the web browser. In our case, we're going to assume that the URL is some type of, for example, localhost, as, as we are using our, our uh, dev site for, slash, there's a number after that, number one, number two. That's a specific URL. We're going to configure the URLs.py file so that it accepts an arbitrary integer. It's going to push that integer to the views.py. This is where we have our Python code. The views.py file will then know the specific ID of the image based on the URL. The URL again being it's slash one, slash two, slash three. Views.py can talk to the database. This is set up in the models.py file. So as long as you know the specific ID of the image, you can drop that into a URL. The URL has the information that's needed because there's a number in the URL to send it to views.py. Views.py gets that number and it pulls it from the database. It then sends that bundled the image information based on the specific ID number of the image to the templates file. And that's where the HTML is. And so you're able to then pull up the specific image into your HTML. We need to think of this problem as it's not just one page that's for the details page. If you have a thousand images into the, in the database, well, a standard gallery, imagine something like you know, Instagram or Google Photos. There's a lot of images there. If, you're, if your gallery has even a couple hundred images, each one of the pages will need to have a specific URL. Remember, we're using the URL itself in order to ID the image. So we're going to create hundreds of links for each of the each image, if there's a hundred images, each image will have a separate link. For example, if we're running a real estate company called paloaltohouses.io, this is a fake URL, uh, the details would be slash one. This would be one, one details page. The next one would be slash two. It would continue on until slash 100. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you, you'd have a hundred different URLs. So in your URLs.py file, we'll have to configure an integer value. This is a special syntax for Django where we're going to send a path a specific number. For example, the number one, the number two. 
this then gets sent into the views.details. This is where the Python code is. The Python code then at that point knows what the specific ID of your image is. It's based on the URL. So this key part here is what we're going to have to insert into the urls.py file. It's a special syntax. It's an integer. And this is just a variable name. This is when you hit the URL, this is what goes into the urls.py. We know how to call up the specific image for the details page based on the URL. This particular image is the second image, and thus the URL is slash two. With this, we have a pretty understanding of each image has a separate page. You can, you can find the image based on the URL. The URL itself contains the number of the image. But what about this home page? How does a thumbnail know where to send what the URL is. So if I click on this, it somehow knows that it should go to slash two. How, what, how is this connection point taking place? For the thumbnail URL, if you recall, all the information for the thumbnails is in a for loop. The for loop is going through each image in the database. And it's assigning it a temporary variable, in our case, theta underscore image. The key here is that every object in the database actually has a special parameter, the ID. This is already built in. So if you access dot ID, you're gonna know the exact um, image ID. And if we use that ID, in the URL, in this case, the anchor tag, you specify the URL, the URL being slash the ID of, of the image, we can then know the URL of the details page. And that's how the connection point is set up. Let's go through it in code so that you can follow along and understand it.